Yo, what's going on everybody? This is David and today we're going to be talking about the new Battlefield 5 Season 5 update. There are a lot of changes in this update. We're not going to go through all of them because it just would take way too long. This would be like a two hour video if we go over every single change and my experience with those changes. And I just didn't have that much time to check everything out in this update. Anyways, I've been playing the new update for I'd say about two two hours two and a half hours i played a little bit in the morning it was a little slow i tried to get into a match but it literally took like two or three minutes to get into a match i guess people were just not awake at that time i am in the eastern time of north america so for those that are in pacific time pacific standard time their time is even less than mine like three hours so anyways I, when I got home from work, I played for about an hour and a half and I played pretty much the the new map the whole time, the reclaim map. And But I, I also kind of got bored of it a little bit and then joined into a regular conquest match with 128 players and played that a little bit. And I did not use any of the new weapons because I have to unlock them, which I didn't do. I just kind of used whatever weapons I already had unlocked. So pretty much what I did was I played the new Reclaim map and then I also just kind of messed around with how the game felt compared to how it felt before season five. And I was mostly looking at the new changes to the camera that they said they would bring where they said that you're gonna feel the weight of your running with various different weapons. Whereas before it was a little bit more stiff, this time you're gonna feel the weight of your guns a little bit more. So I was kind of looking out for that as well as I was playing. But if you're not up to speed to give you guys the full update list without going into the details, there's a new map, it's called Reclaimed. There are new weapons, the XCE bar, the GEW 46 and BFP 50, which is pretty much a Desert Eagle. You got new gadgets, you've got a spring grenade, so whenever you throw the grenade, it springs up and explodes. You've got an anti-tank grenade, which is something I'm probably gonna be using a lot. You've got a mini grenade. I use mini grenades a lot in Battlefield 4, so I'm kinda interested to see what it's like in 2042. I didn't get to use it just yet. I was just using the incendiary grenades just because for the type of gameplay I was playing, that's what worked for me at that time. However, I am interested to see what those mini grenades feel like. I do know that in Battlefield 4, you could throw them really far, and that's why I usually use them over the regular grenades. Also, you've got the RPG 7v2. So we now have a new launcher, which is great as well. I remember in Battlefield 4, the RPG made or did a lot of damage rather than using the other launchers. However, it wasn't very accurate and I think I had a big drop off as well. So it was more of like a short range launcher that you could use. All right, so we've got a new ba battle pass. I don't really care about that. We've got quality of life improvements. You've got a reworking of the vehicle loadouts. You've got specialist improvements for Dozer and Irish. I still don't play those characters. Honestly, I'm McKay 100%. Like I'm just always playing McKay unless I'm a sniper or something like that. We've got also the squad management. That's a good addition. Obviously, we've always had squad management in every single other Battlefield game. This one, not as comprehensive. However, I have never used squad management. I usually don't play this game with anybody else. I just play it by myself. So for me, I don't really care about that. Let's move on. We've got the damage unit UI. So basically what this means is whenever you shoot somebody, you'll actually see in real time their damage go down from like 100 to 75 to two, instead of just seeing their health bar. Also, what's gonna arrive later, it says in season five, the hourglass map is gonna get a rework and then you're gonna have further quality of life improvements like squad orders. All right, cool. So after my experience of playing the game, as you can see, I'm playing the new rework map in this video here. I thought it felt pretty good. Honestly, it felt pretty much like the battlefield before the update. However, I did notice the little bits of camera updates that they did. The camera, 
I feel like shakes a little bit more depending on what gun you are using. And I guess there is a little bit of a weight difference. I, I still feel like the the game feels pretty stiff compared to other battlefields. Like if you play Battlefield 4 and in this game, it is a completely different game. The game feels really stiff, like Overwatch or something like that, you know what I mean? It's a completely different game. The gun animations are still the same. The death animations are still the same. You still got like one death animation every single time you kill somebody. So you still have those things that are bad. But like I said, I did notice the HUD move a little bit more like when I'm dropping or something like that. And the camera movement is a little bit more reactive, I guess, to your movement. So I did notice that a little bit, but not a huge difference. I pretty much forgot about it as soon as I started playing the game. So not a big deal. Uh, the new map, I do actually like the new map. It is pretty cool. I'm not really into snow maps as much personally. However, this one does have a little bit of a mixture. It's not just all snow, but I do like it. It's a little bit smaller than other battlefield maps. Actually feels like a classic battlefield map because well, it kind of is. It's originally from Battlefield 4 and then kind of reworked for Battlefield 2042 but i definitely think it's a welcome addition i felt like i was in way more firefights than other battlefield 2042 maps and that's a really good thing you've got the buildings in the middle where everyone kind of just centers around and that's where all the action happens but pretty much everywhere you go you'll get some action if you go to uh, the opposite base or if you go to to your base you're gonna get action there's pretty much non-stop action and it feels really good. It feels like the map layout is really nice as well. There's a lot of rocks and a lot of cover as well. And I, I never felt like the the game was or the map the map was too open or anything like that. So I, I feel good with that map. I had a lot of fun. It was definitely a very well designed map compared to the base maps that the game originally shipped with. And I I like it a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much my extent of the new season five update i will continue playing the game and see how i feel in the future but so far so good i don't see any issues and the game felt pretty pretty smooth to me and pretty normal like i said not a huge change to how the game feels or anything like that just a new map and new quality of life improvements that they added to the game all right thank you guys for watching this video go to like subscribe and god bless